Hey guys, what's going on? It's Minitoof, and today I'm going to show you how to install any Minecraft snapshot and or pre-release. I don't know if they're still doing pre-releases. I didn't know if that's just up till 1.0, but I'm going to show you guys how to install any snapshot. So don't ask me, oh no, does this work on the newest one? Because this video is being recorded for snapshot w 12, 12W16A, but this will work for every other one. They are all the same, so please don't ask me unless it really changes, like there's some totally different way. But as I know, they are going to remain the same and the process will continue to be. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it at least into the client. I'm not going to show you the server for now. Um, I could do a separate video on that. If you guys want, comment below. I will. But for now, we're going to be doing this. So we're just going to go ahead and download the client, which is the single player version, which will update your entire Minecraft itself. Now, why this is downloading, we're going to go ahead and navigate to the Minecraft folder. So go ahead and open up the finder and then go to your library. Again, I do this in every single one of my videos. If you don't have this here, you need to watch my video on it. I have a link in the description and an annotation on the screen. But I, this should only be online though. So then go into application support. And then scroll down till you can find Minecraft. Here it is. Before we start, I would always recommend before you do any sort of mod installation, snapshot updates, always back up your Minecraft. So just in case anything go wrong, you can just drag this back in and your good is new. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste. Okay, so while that's going on, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that I do have um, Optifine installed. Now, what this is going to mean is it's not going to let me install the snapshot the right way. So we're going to have to go ahead and delete the entire bin folder. So again, this is why we made a backup. So in case this doesn't work, we're going to go ahead and restore from the backup. Just delete the bin folder. And I know that these are not uh, from the regular Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to delete the mods folder because we don't need the mods either. Nobody needs mods. Don't be a modder. So then we're going to go ahead and start up our Minecraft and it should regenerate all this. Now we'll get to you guys when I'm back. All right, I am back. And as you can see, it's recreated the bin folder. So now we go in here and everything's done. You don't have to do this step, but it's just kind of like a safety net in case it doesn't work. I would just recommend doing it anyway. It takes like two seconds. So just go ahead and go into the bin folder. And here you see Minecraft.jar. This is what contains all of the files that run the game, all the main files at least. So what we downloaded here was a minecraft.jar. What do you know? So what we're going to do is replace the old one with the new one. So we're just going to delete the old one, trash, and drag in the new one. And now you should be free to load up your Minecraft. I will go ahead and give it a test and we'll see you guys right after this message. Okay, we are now in Minecraft and as you can see down here, it says we are on the newest snapshot. So if you go in and we'll just do create a new world, you can see that we it has updated. And again, this doesn't really make sense for a server. So if you're going to be doing a server, I would totally recommend staying on what is officially the least, what the least. But if you want to, you can go ahead and install this on a server. How you do that, I will just briefly explain this. If you want me to do a full video, I will. But what you have to do is you go in and replace the Minecraft server.jar with the newest one you downloaded. And that's pretty much it. Just make sure you rename it to the right thing. But again, that's kind of it. If you want to see me do an overview of this snapshot or how to install it into a server, please leave it in the comments below. And I will see you guys after this. Peace out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can check out some of my other videos. Here are some of my recent and most popular ones. Well, the bottom one is. And I hope you guys enjoy this new layout. I'm going to be using this for a while if I can figure out how to implement it in my other videos. But it took me some time to make, but I think it looks pretty darn good. So on the top, we have how to install the switcher mod. This is very recent. I think it was my latest video. And on the bottom, we have how to make a Minecraft server, one of my most popular videos, but it is really helpful if you're trying to set up a Minecraft server and you can click the mystery video. You always need to have a surprise out there. And then you can subscribe if you want to be notified when I have a future video out. So peace out.